everybody so today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to make sourdough pizza dough and it's a pretty quick recipe it just has a, quite a bit of rising time involved with it because there is additional yeast that we're gonna be adding to the recipe so in my mixing bowl I have one cup of my active starter here and I've been feeding this every day so it is live and active and it's bubbly which is really good that's what we want with a sourdough starter and I'm gonna go ahead and add the additional ingredients here. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of active dry yeast to this mixture here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my half cup that I have warmed. You want it to be warm, um, pretty much lukewarm. You don't want it to be too hot because that will kill your yeast and we don't want that. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. And two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now we're just gonna mix to combine and then we're gonna knead it on the mixer for seven minutes after it's all mixed up. away from the sides and has clung to the dough hook, we're going to go ahead and take it out of the bowl. <coughs> Transfer it over to another one for a moment. And then we're going to grease this bowl that it was originally in. We're going to plop it back in there. Kind of form it into a ball as well, as best as you can. And then we're going to cover this for two to four hours and put it in a warm spot, like on top of your oven or on top of your dishwasher as well. And we'll just let this rise for two to four hours. Okay, so now that my bread is rising in the back here, I'm going to go ahead and prep all my pizza toppings. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have salami that I'm using, I have medium ink cheddar cheese, as well as mushrooms, and I have an onion as well I'm going to include here.
now that I have my toppings all cut up, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap them up and store them in the fridge until the dough is done rising. Okay, so two and a half hours has gone by. So I'm gonna remove the cover and it's doubled in size. So you're just gonna punch it down there and remove it from the surface and then create a floured surface to put it on here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and pour some vegetable oil onto my prepared pans. And I'm going to use saran wrap just to spread that around to grease it. some cornmeal at the bottom just to add some texture. You don't have to do this, it's just optional. And then go ahead and transfer your dough to the prepared pans. ahead and spread your pizza sauce on your pizzas.
and I normally put it in for about 10 minutes until the cheese is melted. So here are the pizzas, so I'll give you kind of close up and we are excited to try them. They smell delicious. I hope you guys enjoy.